Hey guys, I just wanted to show you um, a radio piston pump. Uh, this is, uh, to me, this is a very interesting pump uh, because it's a very old design. Uh, there's not that many uh, pumps manufactured like this anymore. However, it does have a couple features that are pretty interesting. Okay, first of all, uh, we see the series uh, 20, 80, and C5, and C11. Uh, we see different pressure ranges. For example, the 20, it goes up to 3000 PSI, uh, 20L, but the H, the H20 goes to 6000 PSI, for example. And it has a maximum flow of a 0.79 GPM. What's interesting about this is that this, this is a fixed displacement piston pump. It has, this specific series has seven pistons over here. And what you can do is uh, you can unplug uh, one of the pistons and it delivers a little bit less flow. This 0.79 GPM that you have over here is a combination of the work done by these pistons, pistons over here. So you can unload each one of these pistons to lower the main flow coming out of the pump. And now you have also independent outlets pressure outlets, independent pressure outlets that you can feed them to somewhere else in the system or dump into, dump into the reservoir if you want. So there's not that many pumps that do that that I know of anyway, uh, but uh, they, I think this is pretty interesting. Uh, we have the 80 series that goes up to uh, 1.85 GPM on 6,000 PSI. And the biggest one we have is the C11 at 10 GPM with 14 pistons. And this goes up to 5,000 uh, PSI at 1,200 RPM. So I'm gonna show you a video of, of one of them. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna show that. Okay guys, I wanted to make a video about this, uh, this specific pump. Uh, this is uh, it's a high pressure, low flow, uh, radio piston pump. Uh, this one in a specific is series 80H. Uh, it handles 1.5, 1.85 GPM at 6,000 PSI with uh, 1,800 RPM. Uh, this specific pump, uh, however, what I think is interesting about interesting about it is that it is a fixed displacement piston pump, but uh, over here you have uh, seven pistons. These, these screws over here is uh, each one of the pistons for the pump. And you can unscrew the, uh, the outlets, if an individual outlet for each piston. And now, uh, usually, if you have mold plug, uh, you have a combination flow coming out of the main uh, pressure port. You have a, a suction inlet and you have the outlet of the pump. When all the ports from the pistons are, are plugged, you have a combination of uh, 1.85 GPM coming out of each one. However, um, if you divide 1.85 divided by 7 equals uh, 0.2642 GPM for each piston. So now when you unplug a piston, you, you lose that flow from the main outlet but you have now an individual flow that you can feed to another part of the system so if you don't if for example if you don't need uh, 1.85 gpm you need less you can take pistons out and dump them to the reservoir or take them to another part of the system that you may want to use that flow uh, for for that uh, for that amount of flow so you can have a variation or of uh, where do you send uh, individual flow for the piston, you can combine them. You can uh, take two pistons out, put them together in one line and send them somewhere else, or you can put them all together. Um, now this is a fixed displacement pump. Uh, this specific one is uh, a 6,000 PSI, 1.85 GPM. Uh, the biggest one that we have available is uh, 10.5 GPM at uh, 5,000 uh, psi with uh, 12, 1,200 RPM. Uh, the um, the 10.5 GPM pump, we have 14 pistons for that 10 gallon. So if we have, for example, for the biggest one, 
10.5 divided by 14 equals 0.75 GPM per each piston for the biggest pump. Uh, and again, you can send it, uh, you can unplug one of the pistons and the somewhere else, or you can combine them all and, and use them out of the main outlet. So I think it's an interesting pump, and um, so mo most pumps are, are not like that. So I just wanted to post this up and uh, let you guys know.